Um, right now I'm just writing up a uh, starting instructions on how to start and drive and move the Bugatti while I'm uh, it's getting ready to go on a plane today, so in case the uh, importers or exporters need to move the car around, I'd like them to know what they're doing rather than pulling and pushing random buttons. The goal for today is the car's leaving. It's getting ready to go through the importers, through um, through the customs inspection to get ready to be uh, shipped to Kuwait. It's uh, flying out Friday, so it's got to be on the plane today. From here, it's loading on our per our car carrier, and we, we basically take it down to customs, and once customs has it and starts inspecting it, it's out of our hands. Yeah. So what do you watch for? Uh, basically make sure that they're, they're respectful of the car more or less than anything else. Um, making sure they're careful not to scratch a kick and, and treat it like a Corvette, basically. Right. This is not a Corvette. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a lot more than a Corvette, and there's a lot more on the line than uh, a <laughs> scratched fender. Yeah, so I'm not sure when the last point we're going to be able to touch the car is. Um, I know once Customs fully inspects the car, we're legally not allowed to touch it. Whether or not we're going to get special privileges to put the covers on it once it's on its pallet, I'm not sure yet. I kind of hope so. Um, so it's kind of up in the air right now. Yeah, driving the car is not fun. I'm kind of the only one appointed to drive it because I'm the only one uh, stupid enough to say I, to say I could. Uh, the clutch is stupid heavy in it. I don't fit in the car. I'm kind of all hunched over and crushed in there. It's got no turning radius. So it's, uh, it's less than fun to drive. Not sad to see this car go right now. I'm just like, get it out of here because now I don't, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it being scratched, bumped. I don't have to worry about it breaking down or the transmission blowing up. Did that speedo gear do up? It, yeah, and stop the car from moving. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, guaranteed it did get fixed in time. Yeah. Um, you may be nervous when you. We're making that first run up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was being really ginger. That's why I didn't go up the first time. Yeah. Well, I heard the engine start freaking. Like, oh, clutch. Well, it's all. It should be fine, though. It's yeah. Got a drive up ramp. Yeah, yeah. That's the pallet board. Okay. Essentially, when we are loading cars, we just simply put the pallet board on the floor. We're gonna need a bigger fork truck for sure. But I guess that's these guys do it all the time, so they've got it down to a, a science. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, basically, we're going to back the, the car into the trailer and uh, take a run and try and get her up this ramp uh, going into, uh, into the loading base so we can put on a pallet and uh, ready to be shipped. 
unfortunately it started raining, so uh, it's not going to be much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. You're just putting padding on it? Yeah, we're just uh, padding the different areas that um, need to be strapped down or secure the load. So they need a side-to-side uh, -side strap point. So uh, 
total events today, we basically we loaded up at our shop, brought it down here to KLM. Uh, KLM did a great job, loaded up on their trailer. We got it all strapped down, all covered up, ready to go. And uh, she's ready to ship off to Kuwait uh, probably sometime today. So that's how you ship a multi-million dollar one-of-a-kind Bugatti. Yeah.